the benefits of, of community gardening, it's like think of something and the garden will make it better. Um, you know, whether it's knowing people in your neighborhood um, or just finding out who's in your neighborhood and what common benefits all of you can devise for your neighborhood. My position as Common Ground Garden Program Manager in Los Angeles County, we're part of the University of California and we literally extend to the public all the research that's done by all the scientists and professors and all those folks, both by answering questions on our Master Gardener Helpline and also by having our Master Gardeners whom we train to go into community gardens, into battered women's shelters, into homeless shelters, into school gardens. Anyone who's low income, we will help them grow more food. Sometimes at a potluck that the garden will have, uh, people will bring things that they've prepared from those items that they've grown that you were mystified what that plant was and now you can taste it and you say oh well good I want to grow that now because that tasted tremendous you know many greens are that way especially for Los Angeles County we have a tremendous Hispanic community and so there's lots of greens that those folks have brought from home when they moved here and of course that's part of the sharing too you've got intergenerational benefits and sharing. Um, you know, grandparents will help the little kids um, and the little kids will help the grandparents kind of get around. Um, sometimes one of our gardens, it was really a Sunday festival every week because they would bring their little barbecues and they'd um, share all the, the food that they had prepared and it was really a just a tremendous neighborhood gathering, kind of like a street fair, but it was in the garden. You know, especially for people who've never done it before, it's really something that's total eye-opener and open to a whole new area of what life is and what they can do. You know, it's, it's kids never eat what they don't grow but if they grow a radish, man, they're going to eat that radish, you know. This is really where school gardens come in as well, that it's so important to have the kids actively learning. You know, they're doing in the garden, in the dirt, what they were learned in the classroom. And sometimes you get a lot of art out of it as well. You know, the kids will keep journals, so they'll really be able to discover their own feelings about you know that little caterpillar that was there and it isn't there today and what happened to it you know so it, it just makes life a lot broader to be able to work in the garden and do it through gardening